Maka aku bilang dari para orang tua aku Saya 
Now, so he says that when you enter, you need to the sun's opposite. You said in Bosha. What happens is, let me give light, but let me not be light. So he says, okay, if that is the case, let me, when we enter the room, let me give light. But let me not be light means what? Let me not be sluggish. Let me not be put loose and fancy free. Let me not be a sluggish woman. Light means light hearted. For a light wife, God made a heavy husband because a woman who is not strict in discipline hurts her husband very badly, makes a heavy husband, hurts her husband very badly. And never be Bassanio to me. I only hope Bassanio never is never hurt by my misbehavior. I don't want to misbehave. But God sort all. You are welcome home, my Lord. But let God sort out everything. You are welcome. He's talking about Bassanio. You are welcome into my house. Around with that, you are welcome with your friend. I'm going to into my house. Bassanio, I thank you, madam. Give welcome to my friend also. Please welcome my friend Antonio also. This is the man. This is Antonio. To whom I am so intimately bound. This is a friend who I am intimately bound. So he got his impression that Portia doesn't know who Bassandra is. Portia, you should in all sense be much bound to him, for I hear he was much bound to you. Yes, it is right that you have to be bound to him, because I do believe that, that he had bound his life for you. Anthony, no more than I am very approved of. He said, Yes, I have been bound to him, but you have helped me and got me approved of it. He set me free from that bondage. Portia, sir, you are very welcome to our house. It must appear in other ways than words. Therefore, I stand with really courtesy. So he said, You're welcome into my house. Words, it must appear in other ways than words. Many words. Words cannot come. Actions speak louder. Actions speak louder than words. Which words can't explain to you what my house is like. Therefore, I we will I will cut short this for like type of breathing. We will cut short this type of breathing. My house is good. Your house is good. Welcome. You're welcome there. Then come up, cut off this type of conversation and come straight into the house. Now you need water. <laughs> now, Graciano is talking to Nerissa. He's talking about the fights. About the ring. He never said, by yonder moon, I swear you do me wrong. By yonder moon, by, I swear by that moon that you do me very wrong. Look, they make me feel that I'm afraid to a woman. Okay? In fact, I gave it to the judge's clerk. I'm telling you honestly that I gave that ring to the judge's clerk. And you're blaming me that I gave it to a woman. Would he were dead that had it for my part? Since you do take it now so much to heart. I hope the boy who took that drink dies because you have taken the act of me giving that drink to him to heart. He has hurt you so very badly. So therefore, I hope the boy who asked me for the ring dies because I hurt you so badly. Portia, a quarrel ago already. What's the matter? I mean, you should just come from Venice. No, not from Venice. You just come from the convent with me and you are satisfied with me. Rashtan, about the hoop of gold, a paltry ring. They are fighting about the ring. Hoop means a ring of gold. A paltry ring is a small, middle, visible little ring. That she gave me, whose posy was. That she gave me. And whose posy was it? On that ring, it was engraved. It was written down. For all the world, like cutlass poetry, upon a knife, love me and leave me not. What was written down on the ring? Love me and leave me not. Cutlass poetry means. You know, if you go to these shops when you buy, say, steel vessels, or you buy plates or knives, they engrave your name on it, correct? So that's how he said that with that engraving, the cutler has engraved, love me and love me not, on the ring. On that ring, she, I have, on that ring was written down, and that ring she gave me, and for the sake of the small ring, she's taking so much of trouble with me, okay? 
Then it's like, you talk of the policy or the value. Are you talking about the red line thing? Or you talking about the value of the ring? Or you talking about the person who gave you that ring? Who are you talking about? You swore to me when I gave it to you that you would wear it till your hour of death and so much, no? And that it would lie with you in your grave. Though not for me, yet for your vehement faults. At least for not for my sake. At least because you made the promise. You have to respect your word. For the sake of your word, you should maintain that ring in your with you. You just gave it away and you lost your self-respect because you broke your own promise. You should have been respected and have kept it. Gave it, gave it a judge clap. Oh, God, my God's my judge. The clap will never wear hair on his face that had it. So you said you went and gave it to a clap. At least you have given it to the judges originally, you gave it to a clap. I only hope that clap, when he grows old, will never grow hair on his chin. How will Nerissa grow hair on her chin? So it's a it's, it's a comedy here. Okay, she's just making fun of the situation. He will, if he lives to be a man, yes, yeah, he will grow beard if he becomes a man, if he grows to be a man. Ah, if a woman lives to be a man, yes, if a woman grows up, he will live and become a man. Then he will grow hair on his toes. Krishna, now by this time, I gave it to you or you. <laughs> now, by this time, with this hand, I gave it to you. A kind of boy, a little stud boy. I gave it to a kind of a boy, a little short boy. Stud boy means a short boy, just like you. Just like you. No higher than nature. The judge's clap. I gave it to a boy who was as tall as you, and he was the judge's clap. A packing boy, meaning a talkative, very talkative boy, that begged me as a thief. I could not hear my heart deny him. He begged me to give it to him as a plea because I was doing all the right thing. And I, with all my heart, could not refuse. Portia, you were to blame. I must be plain with you. To part so lightly with your wife's first gift. You are to be blamed for having given the first gift that your wife gave me. Gave you, you have given it to me. You have to be blamed for that. A thing stuck on with both upon your finger. That ring, which was put on your finger after going to church, it was a blessed ring. You have made an oath. It was a blessed ring. You made an oath to each other. So therefore, that was that was riveted. That was stuck to your flesh. I gave my love a ring and made him swear never to charge with it and wear his hand. I also gave my love a ring and I made him swear to never part with it. Here he is standing. Here my love is standing. I gave his stone for him. He would not be with now plucked it from his finger for the wealth that the world masters. Okay, so he said, I dare be sworn and quite swear, I am quite sure I can swear that he will not let anyone pluck that ring from his finger, no matter what the world's riches will be, he will never, my love will never take out the ring from his finger. That the world masters, now in faith, that you know, you give your wife to unkind a cause of grief. And what to me, I should be mad at it. Now, Rachano, you have given your wife a uh, unnecessary cause to be grieved. Okay? If I were in her place, I would have gone mad. I would have gone mad. The time that he's talking aside. Why? I was best to cut my left hand off. I swear I lost the ring again. He said, Oh my God, I wish I can cut my hand off. Okay? And prove to Portia that while I was defending that ring, my hand. God cut off. He says, telling him, they're laughing. I want the boy sleeping there. Why are you sleeping? How can you read with your head down? You keep your head up straight, I will go to the next room and go to sleep there. There are plenty of benches, empty benches. You can have a, your, good, your good night sleep there. You see my classroom to that straight. My Lord, the son has given the ring away. Now, Krishna said, My Lord has given away the ring. You're talking about him to be the ring, he's given away the ring. And to the judge that takes it and indeed deserves it to when he gave it to him, to the judge himself who has got it and who deserved it, who came up it from him and who deserved it. Then the boy is struck that took some pains in writing. He came back. As soon as the judge, he didn't come the word judge, it was a lawyer. He said the word judge. It is a lawyer who takes it from me, the portion of it from me. I gave it to him, and then immediately his clerk asked me to give me my ring. Like Shana said, to take mine. And neither man nor master would take not, but the two rings. Neither the man master 
Now the clap would take anything else but only the two brains. Porsche, what ring he gave my lord? Not that I hope which you received from him. My God, he gave that ring. I hope it's not that ring which I gave you. Some other ring, but not that ring. The sand. If I could add a line to a fault, the first fault is I gave the ring. But secondly, if I can add a line to that fault, I would deny it. But you see, my finger had not ring upon it, it is gone. Okay, first of all, I committed a fault giving the ring. Now, if I could tell a lie as to how I lost that ring, but I cannot do it. See, I don't have the ring anymore. For sure. Even so, why is the fault part of truth? As just as your finger is empty of that ring, so also your heart is empty of truth. By heaven, I shall never be a wife. Until I see that ring. Until I see that ring, I will not be your wife. Melissa, now I will be yours. Till I see mine again. Where is your pencil? Your pencil is there. Your book is here. And you're looking all over the world. Okay? If I ask you to start reading from where I stop, will you be able to tell me? Will you be able to tell me? Start somewhere I stop. Don't talk me about Come on, tell me where I stop. Not you to bend down. Tell me where I stop. What are you doing? You're taking tea. You are getting some of the troubles to come here. And for what? To pay the phone, you're wasting your time and your energy. Not my, I couldn't be bothered. My duty is to teach you and go away. Your duty is to learn. And you're not telling me. Huh? What is this thing? You don't even know where it starts up and where I'm going to start. The Samuel, sweet Portia, if you did know to whom I gave the ring, if you did know for whom I gave the ring, and would conceive for what I gave the ring, if you knew whom I gave the ring, if you knew why I gave the ring, okay, then and how unwillingly I gave that ring, then not would be accepted by the ring, that nothing else. Would be accepted, accepting for the ring, you would obey the strength of your desire. You will lessen your anger towards me. If you know to whom I gave the ring, if you didn't know for whom I gave the ring, if you didn't know, if you knew the reason why I gave that ring, okay, and how unwillingly I gave that ring, your anger will become less. For sure. If you had known the virtue of the ring, if you knew how sentimental. The sentimental value, virtue means sentimental value of the ring, or half a worthiness that gave the ring, or half me, half my worthy worth, or half my worth who gave you that ring, or your own honor to contain the ring, or your own honor to hold on to that ring, you would not have parted with the ring. You have no respect for yourself, you have no respect for the ring, you have no respect for me. Okay, that's what you said. What man is there so much unreasonable that you have pleased to have defended? No man in this world is so unreasonable to force something out of you if you have defended it. If you have defended it. With any terms of zeal, wanted the modesty to earth the thing held as suddenly. <laughs> which man is going to ask you to take out something which has been given to each other at the ceremony, at the marriage ceremony? It's a marriage ban. No man will ask you to take out that ban. Okay? Melissa teaches me what to believe. I'll die for it, but some woman has the ring. Melissa has taught me that some woman has got the ring. Not a man, but a woman has got that ring. And Melissa has taught me that. The son, no by my honor, married by my soul. No woman had it, but a silver civil doctor. Civil doctor means doctor of law, doctor of law, which did refuse 3,000 ducats of me. I tried to give him 3,000 ducats, but he refused to take it from me. And he begged the ring, so which I did deny him. He begged me to give the ring, but I denied it, refused to give it to him. And he suffered him to go the streets away. And I saw him going away in a very discreet manner. Even if even he had had help at the very life of my dear friend, even though that judge spared, spared the life of my dear friend. Okay, what should I say, sweet lady? I was then forced to send it after him. Because he protected my, my friend, because he saved my friend, it was my duty. I was bound to give him that ring. I was beset with shame and curtsy. I was filled with shame and I was absolutely polite to give her that, to give him that ring. 
My honor would not accept his gratitude so much this to me. I was not, I'm an honorable man, and I didn't want to spoil my reputation by not giving that ring to him. So, therefore, pardon me, good lady, for by this blessed candle of fact, pardon me, my lady, by the witness of this blessed candle, meaning the stars in the Witness, that had you been there, I think you would have said, the ring of me, give, give the worthy doctor. If you were there, I can swear by the candles and the firmament, by the stars in the sky. That even you would have begged me to give that ring to him. Read till there, all of you. Till then, you read from this time. I have begun this paragraph until we are reached with finance and read. Finish the line. Have you finished reading? Yes. Finish reading? Yes. How many of you are still reading? 
I did not get down. I yes, I was uh, Finish reading, you have finished reading. Okay. Let me not a doctor. This one, let the doctor come near my house. Since you have got the let the doctor not come to her house because she's got the beautiful ring that I love. And that which she did straight to keep for me. I will become a little bit Jew. I will not deny him anything I have. So he said, just let this feeling take away that will do a little bit enough to give that doctor a ring. I will also give myself very clearly. I will really give myself very clearly to him. But it's not my ring now. Really, I am now officially married to him. I'll give myself very clearly to him. Just that you gave that ring very clearly to him. And then so, now I will start. They will be very advised. How you do need make my own connection to him. Now, and I will start, and I will give myself very clearly to his class. Okay, now let me be telling and just see right now how you put away the rings and leave us without protection. Those rings are actually a sign of protection, and that sign of protection you have given way, okay, and now you have left it without protection. And I am the unhappy subject of the quarrels. All this quarrel is taking place because of me and the nursing. Portia, sir, believe you not, you are welcome, what's the standing? So, Portia saying, don't worry, don't grieve, don't feel bad. Doesn't matter, we are having our own fight. You are welcome to our house. The son of Portia, forgive me this imposed wrong. And in the hearing of these many friends, forgive me for having done this wrong thing, which was forced upon me. And in the presence of all my friends who are witnesses, I swear to thee, even by my own fair eyes, wherein I see myself, I swear to you in your own eyes. You see through my two eyes, you are seeing two of me. So I am swearing double. So they say two, two of me is double myself. Okay? Mark you but that. In both my eyes, you double see yourself. Remember, we see what he's saying. That I'm looking at them with two eyes, so therefore I see two of the sandal. Double see himself. In each eye, swear for a double self, and there and both of them. So there you will swear that you'll always be truthful and you'll never betray me again. And since I see you double, so you have to swear double. Okay? The son, nay, but hear me, pardon this fault, and by my soul I swear I never more will drink an oath with thee. Will you please forgive me this time? And I swear I will never, never drink any oath henceforth. Antonio, I once did lend my body for this wealth, which but for him had had your husband's ring. I once lend my body as forfeiture for the man who is now your husband. Okay? Which, which but for him that had your husband's ring, okay, had quite miscarried and there he bound again. And this person who had your ring has miscarried with me, has given it away, okay. My soul upon the forfeit that your Lord will never more break faith and rise again. I swear, I will stand guaranteed again that this man, that Prasanya, will never ever betray you again. I stood once as guarantee for him when he took the 3,000 buckets from me. Now I'm standing again as guarantee to promise you that he will never ever betray you again. I am standing that guarantee. Again, I stand a guarantee. I'm going to stand guarantee for the son. For sure. Then you shall have me, then you shall be assured of me. Give him this and bid him keep it better than the other. Then if that is the case, you are going to stand as guarantee. Guarantee that he will never break his promises. And if that is the case, you take this ring and you give this ring to me. I am not going to give the ring to you. Now I'm giving the ring to you and you give this ring to the Sanyo. Here, Lord the Sanyo, swear to keep this ring. Antonio has not seen the ring. So he has accepted the ring. And 
and he gave that way to now for Sankhya. By heaven, it's the same idea, the doctor. This is the same ring that I gave the doctor. I had it of him, pardon me, Basanga. I took it from him, pardon me, Basanga. And pardon me, my dirty brush, you know. So that same scrub boy, the doctor's flat, did give me this. And she telling Flash, you know, medicine in black, you know. And that same scrub boy, the doctor, Clark, had given me the ring which I took from him. Here it is, with me. Portia, you are all amazed. There is a letter, read it at your leisure. It comes from Padua from Malaria. That you shall find that Portia was a doctor and Nerissa there a clerk. We said that, see, read it now. Here she is explaining what who is it. See the letter, read the letter. It is comes from Padua that the girl is the girl, that is a judge whose name was Balthazar. He is nothing else but me, Portia, and the clerk is Nerissa. And Lorenzo here shall witness, I suppose, as soon as you, and even now, now return, I have not yet entered my house. Lorenzo is proof here, that as soon as we left for Venice, we also left for Venice. And we have come, in, and we have come to Belmont just a little few hours before you are come. We have not even entered our house. We have not even entered my house. I told you you are welcome, and I have better news in store for you that you expect. And see this letter soon. There you will find three of your Argos is Argos, you meet your big ships. <clears throat> I usually come to harbor suddenly. Yeah, where did I stop that voice? Can you please continue from there? I stop. Yes, you. I'm speechless. I'm coming. 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 I'm answering this letter soon. There you shall. I finished that long ago. So, that's just a sign. I come back and give you a nice, my sinking slap on your face. Irrespective of your height and your age. Shall I? There's nothing to stop it from doing it. You provoke somebody who wants, doesn't want to do something, you make that person, you push the person to the minute. You have no self-respect. But I have self-respect and I don't want to use my hand on your face. But I lose my respect if I begin. Yes, Three of your Argos evenings, two of your very big ships, are actually come to harbor suddenly. Those ships that were lost have come back to the harbor suddenly. You shall not know by what strange afternoon I chanced upon this letter. You will not know how by chance, by sheer chance, I came upon this letter, which has brought good news about your ship return. I'm telling you, I am dumb. <coughs> I am dumb, I am speechless. I am speechless. Samuel, were you the doctor? I mean, you, I mean, you were not. Were you the clerk? And told you, sweet lady, you have given me life and living. So, what happened is you saved me from Shylock's clutches. So, you gave me life. Now, you have given me back my ships. You have given me a cause for living. Okay? For here, I mean, for certain that my ships are safely come on the road. For sure. Now, how Lorenzo, my clerk, had some good comforts for you too. Everybody's happy now, Lorenzo, with some good news for you as well. There is a I, I give them without a fee. I give you the good news, and I won't charge you any fee. There do, I give you and Jessica from the rich Jew. So here, I am giving you and Jessica from the rich Jew, a very special deed of gift, meaning a will, a will that after he dies, all he possesses, Will be yours. The end of day, lady, you brought manna in the way of star fever. Now, what is manna? Now, what is manna? Now, what happens is this is belonging to the Old Testament. The Israelites were the chosen people of God and they were under Pharaoh, that is in Egypt. They were struggling and struggling and struggling. But they were the chosen people of God and they were increasing and multiplying. And the Egyptians were very frightened. So these are our servants. And see the way they're increasing and multiplying. We have put them to task. 
and they were made to build the pyramids. Today, the pyramids are there in Egypt because of the hard work of these Israelites. And the Pharaoh made life very miserable for them. Instead of supplying them with the straw to make the bricks, they he told the overseer, their supervisor, let them grow the grass, let them cut the grass, let them dry the grass, and let them make the same amount of bricks that they had made when we were supplying the grass to them. And if they don't kill them, so they were under a lot of pressure. Then what happened is they cried out to God, and God sent a person, a prophet called Moses, to take them out from Egypt and bring them to Arabia. This is Egypt and this is Arabia. Okay, so they were brought to Arabia. And there in Arabia, it's a desert. So they were brought in, and you brought it out of Egypt, and you come and brought us out here. There was no food. I think there they had food to eat. There was no food to eat. Why had you brought us out from Egypt? Better if we died there only. Then Moses prayed to God, and God sent manna from heaven. Now, what is this manna? Yeah. Have you ever seen? Huh? Nothing more. Bread, bread. Yeah, that bread. What is it actually? Uh, have you ever seen this particular fruit called uh, uh, kokam? Pratambe, pratambe, pratambe. How many people have seen it? Yeah, it is a red color fruit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And when you open it up, you know, it is a white, fluffy flesh. And then there's a seed inside. But that white, the birds were eating the outside and they were dropping this white flesh. It was something like bread, call it like bread from the top. It was like it's not coming from heaven, it is coming from these trees. And it was falling and these people were picking it up. And they got their food to eat. But again, they were grumbling. They said, You're giving us only this food to eat. We want to eat meat. We are meat eaters. We are meat eaters. So, therefore, at night, uh, God sent a whole flock of quails. Quails. What is it called in, in Marathi? I don't know. Small little legs. Small little birds. Fat little birds. They are like uh, pigeons. Brownish gray. Brownish gray. With white and small. Very small ones. No? They are the 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 Whatever, whatever. So, a whole lot of them were sent to the people, the birds, and they used this, this uh, hokam flesh. And along with that, flesh of the bird, they were eating and they were full. So, that is manna. There is manna from to be something easily dropped from heaven. So, also the gift which uh, this uh, this Melissa gave to Lorenzo and Jessica is like manna coming from heaven because they became very rich. Because they became very rich. Okay. Now, in the way of starved people, all the people were starving in the desert. So we are also starving. We have not much money. And therefore, this is some like manna from heaven. Morning, portion. It is almost morning. And yet, I am sure you are not satisfied of these events at full. Maybe it is almost morning. And yet, they are not satisfied by seeing everything. They will want to know more and more. So therefore, let us go in and you can charge upon me your interrogatory. Then you can keep on asking me all questions. Interrogate me continuously from the very beginning. You keep on asking me any questions and I will answer you through so that faithfully. That can let it be so. Why, well, while I live, I hear no other thing. So, so as keeping as medicine well And as long as I live, I will have only one big tension to keep medicine well very protected. Because she will make life miserable from it. And that's the end of the story. Okay, now read it till there. Five minutes to read it till there. And then we shall do. Uh, what shall we do? Shall we do a uh, grammar? This is Rama, that is direct and direct speech. Thank you.
One more sound, you know, and
I can't hear a word of what you said. Okay, if you want to talk to me, you stand up with respect and speak, otherwise, don't talk to me at all. Did you understand what you said? I will never what? She got him at the wrong By heaven, I will never be your life. 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 I'm 
What is the fool? Fool making a fool of a of a of a person. Then actually, when the wife is unfaithful, then the man is said to be cool. When a wife, woman cheats on a husband, then the man is called. Cool. <laughs> What do you want? Huh? What we did in the next what we did in the next grandma, no? Active and passive voice and direct and direct speech. You are saying you did it. They are saying they want to prevent the revision. What is it that they want me to do? Tell me. Transformation. Um, Transformation. You all know how to write down direct speech, yeah. comma, yeah. Yeah. comma yeah. 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 what is the reporting verb and what is reporting speech, you know? yeah. all that you all know? Okay, then we'll do any transformation of yeah. That's what you want to do. Ah. <laughs> Okay. 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 Okay.